so first thing is the parabola here. I picked it on purpose because you should be familiar with it. Um, so for x squared, if you don't have this on your notes, you can copy it in, um, what the parabola looks like. So um, this one, you should know it. If not, we can, uh, you can copy it off of mine, put a few points on your sheet. Um, so my points will be roughly about here. And if I had to draw this graph, that would be sort of a, a parabola for x squared. Okay. If you got your graphing calculator, you can start using those now. Um, what I want you to do is take a look at these two graphs here, and we're going to make a comparison. Okay, so you go ahead on your own, and I want you to uh, graph this one, x squared minus 2 and x squared plus 3, and see if you can figure out what's happening between these equations. Okay, so while I'm, a few of you look like you're still doing the graph, I'm going to start putting up my, uh, where I think the uh, graph would be. And those of you who've had me before know that I make tons of mistakes, so you probably want to double check before you just give up and think you got it wrong. It could be me. So you can compare your result to mine. So there's uh, x squared minus 2. the other parabola, x squared plus 3. Okay, so anyone care to take a guess at what's going on here? I'm going to be nice and letting you start volunteering, but I have to warn you that once I know your names, I'm going to start calling on people, so sure, Alex, go for it. Good. Yeah, that's a great way to look at the first example. This subtraction by 2 right here. This takes the regular graph and moves everybody down by 2. So that's what we see is each point, the point that used to be here, if we look at this line, I'm now 2 units down. So every point has been pushed down by 2. Good, okay. So surprise, surprise, how would you describe the last one? Yes? Um, the regular parabola of x squared. Excellent. Okay, so you take the regular graph <coughs> that we started with and you move it up by 3. So every, every point that we started on, if I draw that line across, it is now three points higher. Okay. So if we take a look at it, we can say it here by shifting the graph two units down and shifting the graph three units up. Okay? Easy peasy? Are you asleep? No? Okay, never mind. Wrong generation. So if the point x, y is on the graph f of x, this is where it gets a little bit funny, okay? We have to think about letters in math now. So if we had a point, any old point, x and y, okay? Where is the new point if I'm on the graph f of x plus k? Have I lost you? Anybody care, uh, care to uh, venture a guess then? Where will we be? That's correct. So when you do this kind of thing, don't think about the letters. Experiment in your head. What if k equals 1? Where will this point move? What happens? If I get plus 1, what happens? It goes 1 up. So how do I move the graph 1 up? Y coordinate goes up by 1. So I would add 1. So it would be plus 1. Okay. What if k equals negative 5? What's going to happen to the graph? Sorry? It's going to drop the graph by 5. How do you move the graph down? You drop the y-coordinate by 5. So that means I'd have to subtract 5 here. So do the little experiment in your head. That means it's going to be the point x, y, plus whatever that letter of k is. It's a good way to start after the summer, right? It's not too bad so far. Even if you're not completely back to school, I think that's uh, we're okay. Is, can I move down now, or can I just see by show of hands who's still copying? Okay. For the next one, I'm going to let you do this one on your own, see how far maybe you can move ahead pretty quickly. Again, it's the parabola that you're used to from last year, but tell me about what happens here. Okay, see if you can do the same thing and give me the rule when instead of having um, a number, what if we put in a letter? Okay. So see what you can do here for these parabolas. 
Okay, so you should just be filling in right now. I'm going to do the same to try to catch up to you. So um, here's our basic graph again. And now for this one, let me just see here. If we're on the right track, is that okay? Oh, okay, so some of you remember your stuff over the summer. If you didn't, it's really tempting to see the negative two. And uh, yeah, there's a bit of construction, so bear with us. But um, if you see that negative two, it's tempting to go there. But un unfortunately, in, in the horizontal, when we move left and right, it doesn't work that way. It would actually be here at two. So if you remember your parabolas, that's the way it goes. You end up flipping the, the positive two. And this is what your picture should look like. Okay. So on the same note, if there's a positive three here, where is it going to show up on the graph? The negative, right? The opposite. So I'm going to move over here, and here's my points. So this should roughly be what the parabola looks like. Okay. So the only difference now is we're moving left and right. So what can you tell me about the first one? X minus 2 is related to the regular graph by, sure, Jackie. Two units to the right. And x plus 3 is related to the regular graph. Jenny? 3 to the left. OK. Excellent. So here's one common mistake that you need to uh, highlight in your books. If you haven't written it down, you need to write it down in your notes, because this is a huge mistake. When I look over people's quizzes and stuff, and I see, how did they get this question wrong? This is where it is, the common mistake that you forget to flip the sign. You see a positive 4, and normally positive means move to the right, but this f of x plus 4, to us in translations, it actually means move 4 to the left. Right? This is like negative 4. So be careful. That's the first common mistake that people make. Be very, very careful there. Okay. Then if the point x, y is on the graph, um, what, where is the point for f of x minus h? Where is it moved to? Try a little experiment and see what you can come up with. Okay, so tell me about it. Anybody have um, any guesses there? Where will, like, let's just say that h was equal to 3. Then what's going to happen to the graph if h equals 3? f of x minus 3. What's going to happen? Move to the right. That's right. So it's going to be like I'm adding 3 in order to get there. Okay, what happens if it was equal to negative 1? Now it becomes x plus 1. So what happens over here? x plus 1, yeah, it's going to go left. So this is going to be x minus 1. Okay, so this time the point is x plus h. Why? Because 